Happy, Happy Easter, Easter Bumble Gigi! It certainly feels like a whole lot of shaking is going on. Seems like every other day there's an earthquake somewhere in the world. Tonight, earthquake in Chile. In the past few months, the news has been full of quakes, mudslides, and now a massive cloud of volcanic ash spreading over Europe. So why does Mother Nature seem so angry? Mother Nature gets is basically random and doesn't really care about us at all. I think that's the thing we need to remember. And the seeming uptick in earthquakes is more perception than reality. On average, there are 16 earthquakes of 7 to 7.9 magnitude around the world in any given year. Four months into 2010, we have had six, just about average. In fact, a quake the size of the one that hit Baja, California last week erupts somewhere on the planet every month. But instead of hitting the middle of the ocean, which they normally do, many of these quakes have struck populated areas such as Haiti, Chile and China. So we hear more about them. And we also have better quake detection. In 1931, there were about 350 seismograph stations in the world. Today, there are more than 8,000. Yet some still wonder if a greater force is at work. The world is meant to end. That's a storyline Hollywood has also been pushing reminding us that 2012 is the year the Mayan calendar sets for the end of the world. The movie of the same name has raked in nearly $800 million worldwide, and now a California company is building 20 $10 million doomsday bunkers across the country. That's uh, the blast door that leads into the shelter. Steve Kramer is buying space for his family. It will cost him $125,000. We have life insurance, this is life assurance. It's just, uh, it's just hope, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're buying hope. But if the end of days really is near, hope may be all he has. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.